and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video for you today. Today we're going to look at the Tatia Momenta. A very interesting fountain pen and let's take a look at it right now. So this fountain pen was loaned to me for review by my friend Ron. So a shout out to him for the generous loan of this gorgeous fountain pen. It comes in this beautiful presentation box sitting in a bed of faux satin. And I assure you that no satins were harmed in the production of this box. What are you doing? It comes out. Put the box aside. And here we have the beautiful pen. I must admit I had never heard of Tatia as a brand. I mean, who has? Have any of you heard of Tatia? Do you have a Tatia? Let me know. When I first set eyes on this fountain pen, I was immediately reminded of the Visconti Divina Elegance. I believe Ron purchased this pen when he was in Los Angeles about 10 years ago. I can't find the model on their website any longer, but according to Brian Goulet, in 2011, Tatia went through some company changes, dropping some of their models and adding the Tatia logo to the nibs and upgrading their converters. Tatia was founded in 2003 by fashion designer Shui Jen Lin and is based out of Carson, California. A brief perusal of the Tatia website shows a unique collection of unusual designs, including this Shakespearean quill fountain pen. Their description of the quill pen included this statement, quote, William Shakespeare could have only dreamed of having such a smooth writing and comfortable quill to create his masterpieces. I'm not sure that's true, since from the three known examples of William Shakespeare's signature, it is clear he could hardly hold a pen to even make his mark, as it were. But I digress. So let's look at this pen. What I'm going to do is look at the parts and features of this pen, show some dimensions and size comparisons, and then do a writing sample. This Tatia model is no longer in production, and it is called the Momenta. This particular finish is called Midnight Clouds. It has a lovely chatoyant resin. It's just beautiful. The top of the cap has the company logo laser etched into a domed piece of chrome metal. The finial tapers up to a chrome ring that attaches the ski jump style clip. The clip is attached to the ring with two rivets on a small tang that is attached to the ring. The cap and body are formed into a six facet spiral that is very pleasing to the eye as well as to the touch. The cap ends with two chromed rings with a third ring appearing just at the top of the body, giving the appearance of three rings on the pen. The body is straight down to another ring where there is a faux blind cap that tapers down to a rounded point. The cap comes off with two turns to reveal a section of the same material as the body and cap and a steel number six size medium nib. The section is a tapered barrel that ends in a large step towards the nib the section is small, but with the cap threads being this smooth, it makes for a comfortable grip. You can actually put your thumb anywhere along here and it feels fairly smooth. The section unscrews from the body and reveals a standard international converter. So it'll take standard cartridges and I've tried it and it will also take two standard cartridges piggyback style. Let's look at the nib for a moment. There's no branding on this nib, so this predates the branding of these nibs by Tatia in around 2011, but it does say M for medium, Iridium Point, Germany, and with some very attractive scroll work. And there is the plastic feed. The cap posts securely, Although it does make for a very long pen, and it back weights it slightly, but that cap is not that heavy. 
it is still very comfortable to write with it capped in a pinch. At the bottom of the cap, there is a Phillips head screw that holds the, the ring and clip and finial assembly and it shows definite signs of corrosion. So that's not a stainless steel uh, screw there. The pen feels divine in the hand. You notice I didn't say Divina? Open up that door! You notice I didn't say Richard? It's surprisingly light considering the actual weight of 30 grams for the entire pen. Now let's look at some dimensions, some size comparisons, and a writing sample. Wondering aloud, will the years treat us well? As she flirts in the kitchen, I'm tasting the smell. Okay, we are back with the writing sample of the Tatia Momenta Midnight Clouds. Tatia Momenta Midnight Clouds. This is a medium nib and the ink today is Pelican Edelstein Sapphire Let's check the wetness I just feel like I'm checking a baby's bottom for wetness. And we have baby's bottom sometimes with fountain pens too. Interesting terms we have for fountain pens. Let's see about some line variation here. This is just a regular line. Very smooth in all directions. and very wet. You push it, there's a little bit of line variation. It's not what you call stiff, but it's not a flex nib either. Let's listen to it. Well, that's just a lovely pen. It feels as beautiful as it looks. That's going to be a pen that would be a real conversation piece around any table. Let's check the reverse. It does a little bit, but it's very scratchy. And let's check on some quick writing. feed seems to keep up very nicely. So, all in all, that's a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. The Tachia Momenta Midnight Clouds. Thanks to Ron for providing this pen on loan. Thank you very much. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to receive a notification when I upload any future videos. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you for watching. It's only the giving that makes you. And that's all she wrote. What you are.